Hello guys, my name is Ahmed Khalif uh, for the Unscripted Talks here in uh, Dub Radio. So today, what I want us to talk about is in the event that the president of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto, decides uh, to resign either willingly or unwillingly, what happens and what happens in case of death? What happens to the presidency? Does the deputy president resume the presidency or is the speaker by default becoming the president or does the chief justice take over or is it as Raila Amolo Odinga, the former prime minister who is the leader of ODM and also the flag bearer of the Azimio Laumoja One Party Alliance alleges that the army will take over? Now, to answer these questions today, we want us to go in between the lines, to read in between the lines, verbatim, word by word, Articles 146, Articles 145, Articles 144. But to begin with, I'll base myself on two major articles of the Constitution of Kenya, the Constitution 2010. Yeah which actually says the sovereign power shall be exercised either directly or indirectly by the people of Kenya. What does Article 146 say? You may wonder as to why I am starting from the descending order instead of the ascending order 146, 145, and 144. This is because of the heaviness of uh, the matter at hand 146 talks about vacancy in the office of the president whereas article 145 talks about removal of president by impeachment so i want to read these verbatim so that i don't mince my words so you get to understand what happens ride with me till the end of this now article 146 of the constitution of kenya talks about vacancy in the office of the president 146 1 the office of the president shall become vacant if the holder of the office a dies b resigns in writing addressed to the speaker of the national assembly or c otherwise ceases to hold office in the article 144 or 145 or under any other provision of this constitution. Two, when a vacancy occurs in the office of the president, A, the deputy president shall assume office as president for the remainder of the term of the president or B, if the office of deputy president is vacant, or the deputy president is unable to assume the office of president, the speaker of the National Assembly shall act as a president and an election to the office of president shall be held within 60 days after the vacancy arose in the office of the president. Now here, I'll wish to explain before I go ahead to Article 146.3. Uh, when we talk about uh, 146, 1, which says otherwise ceases to hold office under Article 145. Article 145 talks about removal of president by impeachment. So I want us to understand Article 145 before we proceed. Article 145, 1, a member of the National Assembly supported by at least a third of all the members may move a motion for the impeachment of the president. 1a. On the ground of a gross violation of a provision of this constitution or of any other law. 1b. Where there are serious reasons for believing that the president has committed a crime under national or international law. Or 145.1c for gross misconduct 145 2 if a motion and a clause one is supported by at least two-thirds of all the members of the national assembly 2a 
the speaker shall inform the speaker of the senate of that resolution within two days and to be the president shall continue to perform the functions of the office pending the outcome of the proceedings required by this article 145.3 within seven days after receiving notice of a resolution from the speaker of the national assembly a which is 3a the speaker of the senate shall convene a meeting of the senate to hear charges against the president and 3b the senate by resolution may appoint a special committee comprising 11 of its members to investigate the matter 145 4 a special committee appointed under clause 3b shall a investigate the matter and b report to the senate within 10 days whether it finds the particulars of the allegations against the president to have been substantiated 145 5 the president shall have the right to appear and be represented before the special committee during its investigations 145 6 if the special committee reports that the particulars of any allegation against the president a have not been substantiated further proceedings shall not be taken under this article in respect of that allegation or b have been substantiated the senate shall after according the president an opportunity to be heard vote on the impeachment charges 145 7 if at least two-thirds of all the members of the senate vote to uphold any impeachment charge the president shall cease to hold office i would like us now to go back and revise what we had already written assuming that the president has been impeached that is one article that talks about using the national assembly whereby at least a third of all the members move a motion for the impeachment of the president now we know what happens in kenya right now we see most of the lawmakers the mps are into bed with the government and most of the mps actually are in support of the atrocities that are being committed by this regime you may ask yourself now where does mwana inchi come in remember the constitution as it begins it says the sovereign power belongs to who to you the citizen which you can practice either directly or indirectly by representation which we've seen is not working so if you decide to apply it directly by saying hey mr president we are in our numbers we as kenyans have decided that we no longer have trust in you we no longer believe in you we question your integrity like every audit if it were to be conducted in the all rightful manner you could see the opulence of this government you could see the extravagance of this government you could see the hefty taxation and the draconian laws crafted by this government to make sure that the citizen actually is going through a very a very tough time so when mona inchi says uh, the president must go in this case ruto must go through the pressure he decides to resign 146 vacancy in the office of the president the office of the president shall become vacant if the holder of the office dies b resigns which we are all in in writing address to the speaker of the national assembly or c otherwise ceases to hold office and article 144 or 145 or under any other provision of the constitution so we are not limited to article 144 or 145 with reference to 1c now 
What does 1462 say? When a vacancy occurs in the office of the president, A. The deputy president shall assume office as president for the remainder of the term of the president. Meaning, if Rigada Gashagwa was to assume office after Ruto resigned, he will go on for three years because we already know Ruto has done two years. After then, elections are conducted as uh, usual. Or B, if the office of deputy president is vacant or the deputy president is unable to assume the office of president, the speaker of the National Assembly shall act as a president and an election to the office of president shall be held within 60 days after the vacancy arose in the office of the president. So in the event that we also say as Kenyans, through the pressure that threw out or made the president to resign and also made the deputy president to resign, it means then the speaker of the National Assembly, in this case Moses Wetangula, takes over, resumes office for how many days? 60 days after which elections are going to be conducted. 146.3 a person who assumes the office of president under clause 2a or following an election required by clause 2b shall unless otherwise removed from office under this constitution hold office until a newly elected president is sworn in following the next regular scheduled election under article 136 2a 136.4 if the deputy president assumes office as the president under clause 2a or a person is elected to the office of president under clause 2b, the deputy president or the person elected shall be deemed for the purposes of article 142.2a to have served a full term as president if at the date on which the person assumed office more than two and a half years remain before the date of the next regular scheduled election and articles 136.2a or b not to have served a term of office as president in any other case. So, we are so much interested in who resumes office. As the constitution has clearly spelled, if the president resigns, either the deputy president takes over for the remainder of the presidential term, which is five years. So if the president had done one year, the deputy will take for the rest of the four years. If two, he will go for three. If three years, he will go for two years. Yeah? So the deputy president assumes office as the president for the remainder of uh, the term. If the deputy president is unable to hold the office, then there is the speaker of the National Assembly who assumes that office as president. And after 60 days, an election is conducted. You get it? And you they'll hold that office whether it's the deputy president that assumes office as president or the speaker of the national assembly assumes office as president they will hold that office until the newly elected president has been sworn in you understand it so the question by raila oringa who is now seen who is now seen to try and sanitize this government he's asking questions like okay ruto must go after he goes what next it is the same same raila amolo odinga who sang moi must go it is the same raila amolo odinga who sang kibaki must go it is the same same raila amolo odinga who sang uhuru must go and at some point after Ruto won the elections. He also went ahead and said, Ruto must go. So what was different then, that is different from now, that makes him feel like Kenya will turn into what Egypt turned into, 
I mean, those years he didn't see that somebody is trying to cut business ties. We know Mze is trying to eye for the seat of the AU. And to your surprise, the country in East Africa, which uh, people uh, did think would support his voice for vying for the AU chairmanship seat, has also filed a candidate, that is Tanzania. Tanzania has also filed a candidate for the AU seat. Do understand? So is someone using these uh, as a platform to satisfy their uh, selfish appetite for power? As the learned friends say, the law is clear. The light can be separated from the dark. I mean, it's crystal clear. The constitution has no lacuna. We the people, vox populi, vox the dio. Read it word for word so that you also enhance your understanding of the constitution. There is wealth in reading. Once someone said, if you want to hide wealth, if you want to hide treasure, hide it in books because most people don't like studying, don't like reading. But here, we are going to do the summary for you. If you want it into details, kindly check the next video that, uh, that is coming after this. Now, if you like content of this nature, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Press the notification button so anytime that we are live or we upload any video, you'll be the very first person to be notified on Facebook. Kindly, kindly follow us. View, like, comment, and share. Ahmed Khalib is my name for the Unscripted Talks here in Dub Radio. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Kwa Timba Kali za Africa, Dub Radio, Nyumpangu Mzima.